start off with an overview of the spring practice. Well, they had a great spring. Uh, ended up today with uh, the impressive thing today was our fans. You know how many folks turned out. We really not advertising it a lot and had a good turnout. And a lot of folks wanted to come see what we look like in the spring of '16. And you know, but overall, timeline-wise, really pleased where our football team is. We've you know built some depth. We found some guys that can play for us this spring. And you know, you always you, you redshirt a guy and you see him on the scout team all fall and you, you think, okay, this guy's gonna be able to play for us. But you don't know that you get out here and you know block tackle in the spring and work fundamentals and then put them in a live situation situation today and you know we try to scrimmage a lot at least once a week and uh, put them in those situations to get experience and see how they're going to react. And I've seen a lot of guys that you know can play for us and we built some depth which is a good thing. Talk a little bit about what you saw today with it not being a usual J-Day game or like a practice. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah I mean we protected the guys. I know it's what, what you, you fans would really want to see but I, I think they got to see kind of you know how we do things in a, in a controlled scrimmage situation which you know protects our guys a little bit more, you know. We, we didn't need to have any more injuries at this point in time. The worst thing in spring is having injuries and being able to get a guy back at the first of the season. So, you know, to be able to get in a control situation where we don't risk uh, injury uh, as much is a, is a good thing for us. But I, I think that, uh, you know, doing some red zone stuff, third down blitz situation and, uh, to start off with and, and controlled kicking, you know, situation, special teams wise, was a really good thing. And the smartest thing for a football team. You know, every year is a little different. You have to gauge kind of where you are, you know, spring-wise, and we felt like this was what was best for this football team at this point in time. So, but I think the fans got to kind of dose of, you know, what uh, what this next year's team's going to look like. With not seeing some of the normal starters or some of the seniors, what did you see out of the younger class? Well, you know, our senior class from last year, I can't say enough about them. I mean, you lost some great football players, but you lost some great men. Uh, you had a lot of leaders in that bunch uh, that just, you know, just consistently got the job done. So, yeah, you know, that's the hardest thing to me to replace. You, you got guys that are athletic enough to fill the shoes, but, you know, you got to fill those leadership roles, and, and that's kind of the glue that holds your football team together. So, hopefully we'll continue to grow. I, I've, I've seen some of these guys grow a lot this spring and through this all season already, you know, with, with the leadership ability. So uh, that's the thing we got to continue foster each and every day to get better at. Did a player or a position kind of stand out to you today? I mean, I think we got better. I mean, uh, O-line wise, I think we, uh, you know, got a whole lot better this spring uh, with the guys we got returning. But, you know, finding some new guys as well and, uh, you know, DB wise. I mean, I think you lose four out of five of these starters and you come into it and you say, okay, we're athletic back there, but we, we've got to, you know, get some experience there. I think those guys did a great job during the spring.